We love to inspire and reward billions of business souls to gamify their life, to share products and services they care deeply about so they can experience the magical power of referral marketing. Welcome to the next episode of the Naxxon Podcast. I'm Gail and I am here with CEO Ben Dixon and sales executives Mark Stevens and Tammy Grissas. And for today, uh, we are going to talk about a special topic in preparation for 2023. Um, specifically, we're going to ask them, how do you see the referral marketing space changing in 2023? Today, uh, our um, the referral marketing space is um, evolving as we speak since um, the post since uh, the pandemic and it's going mm -hmm. to be continuously changing and it's so interesting because here at Naxon we do create a 2023 direct selling trend support that we recently mm -hmm. launched which we will also link in this episode so before we get into it or before I get <laughs> too much into it let's go straight to Sir Ben Dixon to ask um, how do you see the referral marketing space changing in 2023. Well, Gail, thank you so much for hosting the podcast today. And Mark and Tammy, thanks for being on. This is just such a great topic to unpack for everyone because we see so much from the inside at Maxim from running platforms for really large referral marketing companies in space and little startups. And, and there's a couple different forces, I'd say market forces, that we have to all be thinking about in 2023. And it's not just the um, post-COVID, what the world's like. It's it's also the new standards that have been set by the gig economy. You know, for if you go back 50 years and you say direct selling or referral marketing, many times that our business, our industry was solving that $100 a month or $200 a month problem for families, people who needed to catch up on rent or catch up on extra money that month. And today, the gig economy is taking care of that. You know, someone only needs a hundred bucks a month, they're just going to drop off a couple meals on Uber Eats for some people or DoorDash. They're not going to go start a direct selling career and go host parties in their home. And so there's this, there's this differentiator we're seeing now to where the gig economy has set new expectations for what it should feel like or what it should take to go make 100 or 200 or even $300 a month. And referral marketing opportunities, direct selling opportunities are now needing to be positioned as a higher need. So, oh, you need to make $500 a month. Well, you're not going to do that on Uber Eats. So here, come do that with us. And what we're seeing is, is new expectations on what it should feel like. And the, the people who are truly going to go viral and win in 2023 are the ones where the new person can win. And that's really it. You, it's all about removing friction in the process for customers and removing friction for brand new people who raise their hand and say, hey, I'd like to be uh, in this kind of business. Uh, with that, I want to pass it to Tammy. Tammy, I know you've been super passionate about customer experiences and, and how companies put these together. Walk through some of your thoughts as we get into the new year. Yeah, yeah in, in working in this industry for as long as I have, it really, the focus today and the focus for the last few years, but really coming in today and honing in that is the customer experience. Being able to take that technology, being able for it to be, like you said, then frictionless and create a mm -hmm. success strategy around it, that is a core pillar. And we're seeing that everywhere now. And it's great that we're seeing that. We should have been seeing it for a long time. You yeah. know, if you're a brand new brand and you wanna get your name out there, how are you gonna do that? What experience are you gonna deliver that's going to make that customer become a raving fan and mm -hmm. in this industry you really have to stand out above and above above and beyond that you know creating these experiences that blow people away that blow your customers away regardless of the niche that they're in that's how you're going to wow that's how you're going to build that brand name that's how you're going to give that customer experience uh just that an experience that you can't walk away from that you do become a raving fan with and, you know, now yeah. we're able to see that, Tammy, that's when you get a customer that really falls in love with your company and your product, mm -hmm. you want to take it to that next level as, as a brand by, we talk about consumers as influencers and the customer reward programs being another trend that we're seeing, because what we want to do is empower our customers to spread the word, um, yep. you know. In our industry in referral marketing, it was based on word of mouth advertising. 
Um, we've gone beyond just that, but still, it still starts that basic uh, belief that if we get a customer who has a great experience, we can then empower them to share that experience with other people yep. just naturally. And we want to be able to reward them for that. And customers mm -hmm. really expect that now today because so many companies have affiliate programs and reward sure. programs. So every company wants to have a great way to re reward their customers for sharing and for using both um, their products. And that's one of the things that we're seeing in the marketplace um, that we at Naxxon really focus in is creating dynamic, um, exciting customer reward programs that really take the business to that next level. Would you agree, Ben? It, every time. I mean, if you go back even two years, it would be like one out of 10 new clients where they would all have a compensation program for their their influencers or referral agents or ambassadors who, who would make money. But only about one out of 10 would have a rewards program for the plain retail customer. And today we see it in every plan. Like we don't get a plan that comes through where there's no incentive for the customer to share or the customer to be loyal. Every single company that comes through says, no, 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 no. We need, you know, refer three and it's free. Uh, earn points every time you are a loyal customer and buy monthly. You can cash in for swag or extra free shipping or whatever that is. There's gift cards you earn. There's tons. I mean, you know, share this link with your friend and they get 10% off their first order and you get 10% off your next if they buy. Like all that stuff is in every single platform today. You know, and then the, the next level of fanness, right, is when they're a passionate customer who's earning rewards that says, I want to earn some money. Like I wanna, I wanna, I wanna go to the next level with your company. And Mark, you've helped a number of companies we've worked with um, kind of take our social media post pandemic pandemic world with live events in a very special way and walk walk through what's going on in live events today well, inside of the space. I'll tell you, that's one of the things I get the most excited about is the live platform because mm -hmm. people want connection. People want to know who they're doing business with. They want to understand um, how the product works and they want to know how the business works. And you can only do so much through written content and yeah. even uh, pre-recorded content um, because you don't have the the live experience. That's what I call it, where you have that live emotion going on, um, being able to interact many times and seeing what's happening in those events. And so the live events for me do two things. One is it is the greatest way to share a product story. Um, most companies that have a really amazing product have a product that has a complexity to it. And it can't just be put on a shelf and sell. It has to be the story has to be told and the, the experience that other people are having with Rock needs to be shared so that the person that has been invited to that live event gets excited about that product, gets excited about that business that they want to start so that they can create that second income for their family. So the live event is the second thing is it empowers every person to win. This is one of the things that I've been in the referral marketing industry for over 20 years. And one of the hardest things is what can the new person do to succeed? They certainly can't succeed on their own because they don't have the experience. Most of them don't have the ability because we talk about um, in, our, in the report that uh, one percentage of the people coming into a company, they're salespeople. So they love to sell, they, they love to talk to people, they don't have a problem with that and they're go-getters. But that is not the majority of the people that join yeah, the not business. At all. The majority yeah. of the people that join the business, they love the product, but when you say sell, they just literally freeze. So mm -hmm. the live events, it changes everything. Yeah. Um, so that you can send a person that doesn't wanna sell can say, hey, listen, I want to take you to a live event so you can hear about this product from the experts or hear about this business from the experts. And then the company gets to showcase their top people, people that know that are platform people, that know how to communicate. They know how to bring people in. Um, and the platform, that the, the part of the platform that's just, it's the magic is no longer do you, 
go to a presentation and the person giving the presentation does this incredible job and then at the end say oh get back to the person and invite you to this presentation to close and then you go back to the new person to close who doesn't know how to close so now the person that knows what they're doing can right there invite say if you want to be a part of this business click this button below or if you just simply want to try our product click the buy button below and it is magic because then yeah. you can create duplication because I have always said anybody can invite, but it ends there for most people. And, and I, what I love about seeing some of the companies that have done these live event platforms is they've created a culture of freedom for their top leaders. Instead of even expecting in traditional, and some of you say, well, what's the big deal with webinars? We already do webinars. Well, many of you are do, having your, expecting your leaders to do six, seven, eight webinars a week. And if they go on vacation, if they take a break, guess what? Your sales volume goes down. And so what Mark's speaking about is building as one team as a company, having a calendar where your top leaders come together and once, twice, three times a week. Some of you do it seven times a week. Take a turn where, okay, John's got it for a week and then Tammy's got it for a week and then Todd's got it for a week and then Marcy has it for a week. And maybe you're in rotation every six weeks, but it creates this, this, um, this culture of freedom for your highest earners and for your best presenters to where they do their part and then they're off for a while, and then they come in and do their part, and then they're off for a while. That's very appealing. And so you want to think about at each level for the new person, what's that experience, right? What life am I looking for them? And then for your independent promoters that are your best sellers, are you creating a culture that's a job? Or are you creating a culture that's this, this lifestyle of freedom with them? Live events help you do that. The last thing we'll wrap up with thinking through just 2023 is it truly is a market that's changing quickly. And you have to get a feedback loop that's meaningful so you can get the real data to know what to make better in your culture. But to understand that, I'm going to walk through this concept we talk about at Maxim called the generations of referral marketing technology. See, when Mark and I and even Tammy, right, were building in the field years ago, right, we didn't have replicated sites and software. We had a fax machine, okay? We started off faxing in orders in referral marketing years ago. The first generation in the early 2000s was replicated websites, okay? And the basic premise of replicated websites was here's your link, go get people to the site, don't say anything bad, and good luck, right? And that's what most referral marketing direct selling companies did. They provided a link, please be compliant, and use this link and send us sales and we'll pay you. That's how we moved away from fax machines. The second generation of referral marketing technologies where most of you who are listening to this uh, podcast are at, you've created content to share that helps them get people to the link. So here's a video, here's an image, here's a landing page. Share this stuff. It's good, it's compliant, it's compelling. It'll help create curiosity and then get people to your link. Now that's great, but that's where the majority of the marketplace is today. Now at Naxon, we've been unpacking this idea of the third generation of referral marketing technology for the last four years. What the third generation says is the third generation of tech says that we're gonna create a platform that feels like a top leader sitting next to you, suggesting what to do next. And because it's this smart predictive technology, um, people come in there and it feels like someone's sitting in their living room coaching them what to do next. So they actually do it. And, and because where they're taking their phone calls and they're, they're texting and they're sharing on social media and they're watching training videos and they're, they're doing all their actions from these predictive mobile apps and these, these systems on their laptops, we're able to track what they do and what they're willing to do and able to show you the company out of what your members are willing to do, what's actually working and what's not. So you're getting this real feedback loop of the actual actions your people are taking and which ones are working or not, instead of just interviewing top leaders and asking them what you think is working or not. And so one of the best things you can do um, from checking out the podcast today is to download the 2023 Direct Selling Trends Report. We highlight additional trends in there we didn't get a chance to touch on today um, on the podcast. And if you haven't yet met Mark or Tammy on a discovery session, I encourage you to go to naximtour.com and uh, book a time to meet the other team and share your vision for 23. And we'd be glad to share with you what we're seeing in the space and what would be relevant. Thank you so much for coming on the podcast today. Back to you, Gail. Thank you so much for sharing your insights, everybody. And uh, for ever, for those who are listening, uh, we are available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Anchor, and iHeartRadio. We'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you. Bye for now. So how did we get here? When we started in referral marketing, people were still faxing in orders. Oh yeah, I remember faxing. I am so glad technology has changed. 
the internet comes out and the first generation of technology is replicated sites. Companies are like, here's your link, good luck. That worked for a while until we realized that people needed more than a replicated website to win. And that's when companies move into the second generation. They start providing images, videos, PDFs to share to get people to your links. Good luck. The trouble the whole way through is that companies don't have the data. They don't know which pieces of content members are sharing. And out of that content, which ones are getting people to the website? And then the gig economy arrives. All these smart business apps that literally tell people what to do. We knew referral marketing was all about your daily habits. Like reaching out to new people, following up, sharing content on social media, and growing your mind with positive content and learning. So we created an app that feels like a top leader is sitting next to the newest person, suggesting what they should do next, and then next, and then next. And bam! Companies are now getting the data on what content the members are willing to share. And which parts are working. Meaning that companies that have a predictive system have an advantage on their competition. When others are brainstorming and simply throwing spaghetti against the wall. Does throwing spaghetti even work? Naxum clients are literally doubling down on creating fresh content that they know will work because of the insight reports from the predictive action system. If you'd like to see the predictive platform, book a discovery session now.